love of money is, is a big problem. Loving money more than we love God is a big, big problem. Um, in, the, in the readings that we have today, there are strong warnings against loving money more than we love God. There's, a, uh, I, I think it's true, I've never, never really hunted raccoons, but they say, I've, I've read that if you put like a shiny coin or like a shiny button in a hole just big enough for it to fit in, that the raccoon will put his hand in, you probably heard this as well, and he'll grab onto it, but his hand won't be able to get back out because the hole's not big enough. It's just big enough for the coin, but not for his hand to get out. And then uh, he won't let go, right? He'll never let go. He'll even die before he lets go. And, uh, and for us, uh, I don't know if that's true, right? But, uh, but for us, it's a good image to have. Um, how do we deal with money? Do we hold on to it like that raccoon who's like, would rather die than let go of it? If we do, that's a big problem. We, we, we're not going to get to heaven if we're holding on to that coin for, for dear life. Practically speaking, right? How do we practically kind of keep our, our money in check so that it doesn't take over our lives, that it doesn't dethrone God? One of the things that I, th- that I yeah, is very helpful for all of us, and I'm sure many of you do it, is just practicing like some kind of basic budgeting, right? Some kind of basic thing where we say like, this is how with... I think beforehand, with God's help, how I'm dividing up my money. I'm making sure that I'm, that I'm generous with it, right? That it's not just, I'm not keeping it all for myself. I'm making sure that it's going to the right places with my family and with the other things that, I, that I'm committed to and, and that I need to have. But I'm not kind of giving into excess, right? And just kind of pampering myself, just kind of um, making sure that, uh, that, uh, that I keep it all for me, right? And so uh, for us, the strong warning today about money, money isn't bad in in and of itself, but if we love money more than we love God, it's a big, big problem. And so for us, we want to make sure that we've thought through, that we've planned out, that we're good stewards, responsible stewards of what we do with the money that has been entrusted to us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.